Okay, so if you look at my art, you'll notice that I, I know how to draw. I'm like, I can draw. The only problem is, how do I get from here to here? That is my biggest problem because I have a comic that I have been writing, that I have been, I've been writing it. The only problem is, I don't feel confident enough in my skills to draw in the Marvel style. So what I need to do is figure out, hmm, where, where can I improve? I mean, people will always tell you, well, in order to improve, you have to practice. You have to practice. You have to practice. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, fine. I know how to, I, I, I can draw, but how can I practice effectively to get the maximum growth that I need in order to draw this, this comic? And so that's where, I, that's where I'm going to... That's where I'm gonna try. That's what I'm gonna go for, go for. That's where I'm heading towards. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a T chart, and I'm gonna draw everything that I draw and how I look on, my, on one side, and then what a professional comic book artist lives on the other side, and that should give me a good start as to where I should go. It's like, what do I need to practice? Oh, this is different than this. This is what I'm gonna have to practice on. So it gives me a little bit more direction so I know what exactly I need to practice. Now I'm going to start with the face because, um, yeah, I need help with that. Okay, so to know where to start, I'm going to put my paper down here like this. Uh, you can kind of see through it. Yes, I use this table a lot. Anyway, I'm going to make a T chart. Boom. Boom. There we go. We got our T. Well, it looks more like a crucifix, but that's all right. It's actually a T. This is my art, and this one is a professional. And I'm going to compare and contrast. First of all, I think my art is kind of stiff. My characters aren't as refined as they could be. And I, well, I can always work on my anatomy. All right, so I got three things in there that, that, that is, that is, that's my art. The professional one actually looks more fluid and natural. The figures, um, they they look convincing, like believable. They're they're actually, well, for lack of a better word, they look professional. I'm like, there's no, you know lag in the uh, anatomy and, and actually the anatomy although it's not perfect it's near perfect it's closer than mine <laughs> mine I can still work on but I've seen some I've seen some mistakes that professionals make I mean you're not you're not just because you're a professional doesn't mean you're invincible anyway all right so I've got like a compare and contrast of three things so now I know when I start working and practicing what I need to practice on so I'm going to work on getting my characters to be less uh, stiff and more fluid and natural. I'm going to work on the refinement of it and have it look more convincing and more professional and less amateurish. I mean, it's not bad, but it could be better. You know what I mean? I mean, it, that's what you're always striving for is to be better. And then, of course, my anatomy, I could really work on. That's not an argument. I'm like, yeah, it's not even near perfect. It's kind of like on a scale of like... If you have a scale of one to five, meaning the best, and down, I'm like, ooh, I'm somewhere in this nebulous range in the middle right here. So I need to work on it. All right, now I have my my goals, and now I'm gonna start practicing. So now I have, I know what my goals are to practice. So in my next video, I will show you how you can apply this to practicing drawing.